everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name's Eshawn, and today I will give you my thoughts on the Batman trailer. Dun, dun, dun. Matt Reeves the Batman. Robert Pattinson's Batman. Everybody's talking about it. The damn thing got over 2 million views in like an hour. I was like, damn. It just goes to show you that like, the more things change, the more things stay the same. I mean, you really want to think about it. Think about it. That trailer and the Spider-Man trailer, both were just so ridiculous, got so many views in such a short time. It's almost as if people love familiar content. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's almost like that. It's almost like people love familiar content. Like, you know, but I digress. But I, I just thought about that. It just dawned on me that I'm just like, you know, man. I've often accused Warner Brothers of leaning on Batman too much and not giving room for newer characters to shine, but I mean, shit, when you get results like that, I can't fucking blame you. I'm pretty sure that damn thing's gonna get like 10 million fucking views by tomorrow. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. The trailer was dope. It was dope. It was dope. It was cool. You got a little bit more information, a little bit more insight. And really didn't get much more story. You just got more visual stories, more visual stuff, and... and to be fair, it does have some pretty typical Batman stuff. Alfred be warning him he's going too far. And, you know, well, people saying you're like me. But, but, but the visual style is stunning. It's a stunning visual style. Not, I'm not sold on the action set pieces yet. Okay, maybe not the action set pieces, but on the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Matt Reeves, not known for it. I'm not sure it's going to be great. I, I, like, I got a feeling that the hand-to-hand -hand combat is going to be a lot like the Dark Knight. Where it's like, it's serviceable, but like, but it's serviceable enough that like, everything else is going to be so good that you're not going to really notice it. Because that's one of the biggest complaints I had about The Dark Knight. About the Christopher Nolan movies in general is that the act, the actual hand-to-hand -hand combat sucked. And I'm like, Batman's literally one of the greatest hand-to-hand -hand combatants of all time. Why does this hand-to-hand -hand suck? And I'm watching the trailer, and I am a bit nervous about that. That's the only thing, though. Everything else looks great. The visual looks great. The acting looks pretty, looks solid. I'm liking the actress they got to play Selena. They definitely got the nice Batman thing going. I am not a fan of this whole, of the emo thing he's doing with his hair. Like, 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 I, like, I, Batman, Bruce Wayne is supposed to be the mask. Now, granted, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm not jumping the gun. I'm not going to jump the gun because maybe, you know, maybe this is like the early days and by the time it gets to the end of the movie, he's like got his hair up and he's all, you know, dapper. But he's supposed to be the mask. But he just looks so mopey all the time with his hair across down right here. That it makes me go, who the hell wouldn't know you're Batman? <laughs> You're moping around. Like, he's moping in every fucking sequence. But I digress. Like I said, I digress. It still looks very good. I like this angle they're taking with the Riddler, too. He's almost like, it's. he's got like, like they actually put it in the post, like, serial killer. Like, yeah, he's a serial killer. They're taking this interesting, like, Zodiac, the Zodiac killer kind of thing with the Riddler. He's like the Zodiac killer, only only scarier because he's such a genius and he can devise these ingenious ways to fucking fuck with people but like but i think that's so cool like that's a cool way to go about it and the penguins in this played by colin farrell you don't know because he's got all that prosthetics on but that's colin farrell uh, <laughs> so you know so he should be cool didn't get too much of james gordon um, mostly focused on Bruce and, you know, the things he's dealing with, you know, you know, you know the, 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 the Batman shit. Awesome slash shot, though. Awesome last shot of the Batmobile. I'm not still not a fan of the Batmobile, man. I'm still not a fan of it just looking like a car. It's just a, it's the Batmobile. But like I said, like I said, I'm going to give this movie, I'm giving this movie the benefits, benefits of the doubt. I just can't, I have to just be honest with you, people watching me, that I don't, I am not the biggest fan of the just regular Batmobile car. Not the biggest fan of it, but I digress. Maybe he will get something better in the future. Maybe he will get more techified in the future. Uh, who knows? But all I know is the shot of him walking out of the car with the flames in the background and his cape flapping in the wind. It was dope. It was dope. That that shot was dope. That's the money shot right there. That's the, we did our job, people. 
we can go home. That that shot was fantastic. Hell of a shot to end the trailer on. I enjoyed myself with the trailer. I have my reservations with certain things. I do. Um, I'm not I'm not in love with the outfit. I think I've said that before. I'm not in love with this costume. It just looks so chained together and like maybe that's what they're going for but i'm just so used to batman being such a smart genius dude that you know he has his shit together you know having the money to build what he wants to build but you know maybe they're going for a different vibe um it is i will i am worried about the hand-to-hand -hand combat because from what i've seen in that trailer it did kind of just look like it didn't look too good like it looked like he was taking just taking hits and, like, in my mind, I'm like, Batman's a fucking ninja. He should just be dodging punches and coming in and out. And I'm thinking Ar I'm thinking Arkham Asylum, okay? I'm thinking, like, Arkham, the Arkham franchise, you know? Like, so like and for some reason, like, I just, he just kind of seemed robotic to me. He was just taking shots. And, like, I get it. You got the armor. Use it. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. But I worry. Because, like I said, the hand-to-hand -hand combat and Christopher Nolan's Batman was not that good. And I worry that the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this will also not be too good, but it'll be like one of those things where like it's serviceable enough and everything else is so good that you kind of just don't think about it. I notice shit like that because I'm an action junkie because of my grandmother. I'm an action junkie. I notice shit like that. I, I know good I know good hand-to-hand -hand combat when I see it. And I am worried about the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff in this movie. I am a bit worried. I am not the biggest fan of the Batmobile or his costume. I'm also not the biggest fan of his of the way he seems to be playing Bruce Wayne because he just seems like he's just moping like a motherfucker. And I know Bruce is kind of mopey, but usually he leaves that shit for when he's at home and the public is like walking around with two women, you know. Do, 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 do. Oh, Bachelor! But this dude's moping around everywhere. <laughs> this dude, look, he's just moping around the motherfucking place, man. Like, damn, dude. <laughs> like, pretend. Uh, anyways, I still enjoyed this trailer. I still had fun with it. Maybe I'm not, like, losing my shit like everybody else is. Because everybody else was losing their shit. People were losing their shit over images of the movie. And I was like, oh, shit, man. Like, damn, I'm not, I'm not that fuck. Like, I mean, it look cool, but shit, man. <laughs> you know? Anyways, I digress. I still enjoyed this trailer. I'm excited for this movie. I'm giving, I got, the, this movie has a lot of leeway with me. I like Matt Reeves. I love the Planet of the Apes trilogy. Especially War for the Planet of the Apes. I dug the fuck out of that movie. So I like Matt Reeves. Robert Pattinson. I'm rooting for Robert Pattinson because he's not just a Twilight guy. He's done so much more since Twilight. He's done, he's got a movie on Netflix right now. Still on Netflix called Good Time. It's fucking nuts. The movie's fucking nuts. I might review it before this movie comes out. The movie's fucking crazy. He's done a lot of independent stuff. He's done a lot of independent stuff. A lot of hardcore shit. He is not the Twilight Kid anymore. He is much more than that. He's much, much more than that, so I am rooting for Robert Pattinson. I'm, honestly, I am. I'm rooting for him to prove everyone wrong and to change his perception. You gotta remember, Christian... No, 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 um... No, 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 I'm blanking on his name, blanking on his name. Um... Shit. Night's Tale, Brokeback Mountain... Why am I blanking on his name? But your boy who played the Joker uh, and the Dark Knight, he was known for like shit like Brokeback Mountain and stuff like that. He wasn't known for doing performances like this until he did it and it kind of changed the perception of who he was. You know, sadly he died, but it did change perception. This is a perception changing film for Robert Pattinson. This film will define him. It will change the way the public sees him. And I am rooting for that man. I'm rooting for him to change public's perception because I know that he ain't that dude, but not everyone does. I was talking to my cousin the other day like, man, they got the fucking Twilight guy. I'm like, I know they got the Twilight guy, but he's not that guy anymore. He hasn't been that guy for a while. But I digress. I'm rooting for this movie to succeed. I have my reservations with a couple things in the movie, but hopefully maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is just year one and some of these things, um, and most if not all of these things will be fixed by the end of the movie and it'll be like, you see the sequel and he'll be the Batman that I really want to see. But anyways, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Got a little flustered there. Thank you guys for the Comic Game Movie Show. Please be like, subscribe, and have you seen the trailer for Batman? I'm pretty sure you have. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on it, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.